Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you tonight from a winter wonderland in Lake Tahoe. It is so gorgeous. I just want to give you a little glimpse of this courtyard below. They've got a fire going. People are just milling about in the snow. It's been a blizzard for three days and they haven't even been able to open the ski slope. So we're hoping that's going to happen tomorrow. But anyway, I just want to talk to you tonight about a question that Terry, one of our CFS Warriors posed, and it was, what do I do on a good day you know she's been improving and all of a sudden she gets some energy and feels normal on a good day and she says I feel like I'm just walking around in circles I don't know what to do and it, she said if she goes to the store well that's the end of her good day that you know she crashes and so I really related to this because I remember so well during my recovery, you know, just being in a daze on those good days, like what do I do? But uh, there were a few things that helped me that I want to share with you. And a lot of this is related to baseline and your routine and also to an important nickel principle that I want to share with you. And so I remember that one of my mentors would say, aim for okay days, not good and bad days, because our goal recovery is to stabilize. So it's actually great though that Terry's getting some good days because she's been working hard at recovery and investing work in that and now she's getting a payoff. So it's really important what you do at this point when you have some good days like this. And so the first thing is you want to think about is using that excess energy to go back into your body for healing because healing takes energy. And so if you go and use all that energy that you've got on a good day, and let's say you go spend it till you're, you know, kaput, then your body wasn't able to use any of that excess energy that you've worked so hard for to go to healing. And so if you take the long view, I know it's really hard because when I was really debilitated and then I would have a good day like that, I wanted to use that energy up doing things that I hadn't been able to do. But I had to take that long view and say, you know what, my body needs this for healing, so I'm gonna invest this energy like it's a bank, into the bank so that I will get more payoff in the future from this. So look at it like that. You're banking that energy for recovery. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't do anything aside from your normal routine, but basically I did stick with my normal routine on days like that. I would, uh, it still included rest, it included meditation, uh, maybe a gentle walk that I had worked up to, and juicing and doing all those things to support my body in recovery. That was still my focus for the day. However, uh, I did want to use that energy in, in other ways. So here's something with Mikkel is it, Mikkel talks about it's really important to avoid boredom and also to create fulfillment. So the way you want to bounce your boundaries on a good day is the Optimum Health Clinic calls it bouncing your boundaries, you know, going a little bit beyond your normal baseline. So it doesn't mean you go out and do 10 things that you haven't been able to do. It means that you do something gentle that's a bit above your standard routine and something that really lights you up. And so this is really important because by doing something that lights you up, that you really enjoy doing, it's going to actually give you energy. So that's going to be more energy that you can bank for your recovery. And, you know, so you could do things like painting or drawing, or if you're bed bound, maybe on a good day, it's a day you can get some help and go sit out in the garden. Or, you know, like for me, I was doing daily walks, so I could maybe do a little bit more, go, go down to the beach for my daily walk, you know, but keep to the same time. So those are ways of expanding. And then what's exciting is your body begins to adapt to that higher baseline as you work that into your routine. Uh, but again, this is not about pushing. It's about gently using the energy in something that will be fulfilling for you and yet something that gives you energy. So this is me giving you a free pass. Don't go do household chores. Don't go to the grocery store unless that's something you really love doing. Pick something that'll really light you up. 
So the nice thing about this Warriors and the exciting thing is that as you begin to stabilize, you'll get better and better days. And I will never forget when I hit a day and I was like, oh, this is really a bad day. And I realized this bad day is what a good day used to be. And that would happen all through recovery. Your days just begin to change and you get to have better and better days. So anyway, Warriors, hope that helps. Remember, life is not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.